a quick word or two on knowledge and power and time and money. Knowledge and power and time and money. So it said that knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you grow. And it's also said that time is money. For the same reason why they have exchange. For the same reason why they have a workforce. It's the exchange of time for money. So if time and money were truly the same, time and money would also be uh, a president in the bartering system. But in the bartering system, it is not determined on time and money. It's determined on service and money. What kind of service can you provide with money? See, this is the ploy of the marketplace to uh, to add it, add to their monopoly and subtract from your own neighborhood work wealth and your own uh, generational wealth, so to speak, because you're giving your time to another entity that provides another kind of service. And you're just a part of that machine. But your own machine is an entirely different thing. This is where knowledge, power, time and money go hand in hand in your favor. See, they tell you that knowledge is power, but it's power over what? Not necessarily over other people, but it's power over time because knowledge is based in time. There's different time periods that are connected to knowledge. So there's knowledge of what happened in the 1300s, knowledge of what happened in the 1700s, knowledge of what happened in the 19th century, knowledge of what's happening in the 2000s. There's always a knowledge of and that of is always pertaining to time. So now you have time and money and the relationship plays itself out in an interesting way because you have people who have all the time in the world and none of the money. And then you have people who have all the money in the world, but they have no more time. And so you have these discrepancies right in the surface and underworld aspects where you have this struggle between time and money. And then in the higher worlds, the people that you can't see, the people that we say are controlling everything. They have knowledge, power, time and money. And money. If time was money, you would have all the money in the world if you had all the time in the world. But this is not necessarily the case. Time is only money in the matrix. According to the matrix's world system, that's where time is. But when you step in into yourself you step inside of yourself you step outside of time once you step inside of yourself you step outside of time <clears throat> outside of the frameworks of time and you begin to bend the scales on what money means and what true wealth is because you have people who are subsequently they're not good time managers and good time managers in a lot of instances turn out to be terrible money managers because they can't manage their time. If they can't manage their seconds, they can't manage their dollars. If they can't manage, the, if they can't manage their hours, they can't manage their paychecks. If they can't manage their month, they can't manage their checkbook. They can't manage their bank account. If they can't get a grasp on time, if they can't work with time and flow with time, then Things like money, wealth, and good experiences will become ultimately fleeting and dry and empty. There's an emptiness that comes with waste. Waste leads to desolation. And now it doesn't, it doesn't always seem that way because the matrix provides a lot of trinkets for you to be distracted from your wilderness experience. What happened with Israel they weren't just in the wilderness. A lot of people in the wilderness had idols to deal with their idol time. They had IDOLs to deal with being IDLE. They had IDOLSs to deal with them being IDLE. When you go idol, you serve idols. When you go idol, you serve idols. Knowledge, power, time, and money. This is the uh, the four angels who hold back the four corners of earth in a business sense, who hold back the four winds in a business sense. 